Right, I'm going to get straight into showing you how to play that riff. Now it's a very difficult one, it's very fast, so this sounds counterintuitive, but if you want to play anything fast really well, you must slow it right down, make sure that the mechanics and the coordination is absolutely spot on before you can build up the speed. So that's what we'll do. Those are 16th note triplets, and this is kind of in C minor, so it's familiar. familiar shape you might know there. So I'm holding the plectrum between my thumb and first fingers and using the heel of the hand there just to anchor on the E string and using the little finger to anchor. I've got to keep everything really really steady when I'm doing this. So starting off on the 8th and 10th frets of the G string you can download all the tab at onlinebasscourses.com and also the drum beat. And I think it's 120 beats per minute, but you can get your metronome out and start much, much slower than that and build up to this speed. It's always good to have some sort of drum beat or metronome when you're doing this kind of thing. So, put your first finger on the eighth fret of the G string and your third finger on the tenth. And this is the same motion is going to be used for every string, really, for that first bar. So, it's the same rhythm for everything. So going very slow, we do a down stroke with the pick, hammer on, then an up stroke. So that's kind of the first part of the movement, getting you three notes. And then the next bit, we keep your third finger pressed down on the tenth fret and your first finger on the eighth fret because we can do a pull off. So that would be a down stroke and then a pull off and then an up stroke so I'll do that slowly the pick is kind of going down up down up the and the speed oh well if you think about it just doing that is not that big a deal and also What's the left hand doing, the, the fretting hand? It's kind of just doing that, it's not doing much. It's the interaction between the two that's creating that really, really fast kind of sound. So if I were you, I would just go as absolutely slow as you need to. And at that speed, you'd set your metronome to that, or maybe double the speed. Now if you think about it, look at this. The plectrum is just really hitting these downstrokes quite confidently, okay, just to keep you in time. And then really it's the same thing. So I'm now moved to the D string, exactly the same frets, exactly the same pattern, movement, same on the A string. That bit's a little bit tricky, so you're you're on the eighth to tenth frets of the A string, and you just got to do a quick shift. The right hand is just constantly keeping this groove, keeping in the groove, keeping in this motion. And then you got. So fret 8 to 6, keeping those notes quite short and aggressive. Hammer on on 6 to 8 on the A string, followed by a slide with that third finger to the 10th fret, then 8 10 on the D string. It takes a bit of time to get it up to that speed, but what I would do is just try and get that the mechanics of it just down. It's got to be in your muscle memory, really. Uh, it took me quite a long time to get that together. It's not the kind of thing I'd normally play. I think it's just very good for the touch and stamina and for getting your both hands coordinated. It's a really good exercise, actually. <laughs> time there at the end there but that's what I would do to practice I just try and 
try and get it bang in time as much as you can playing without a metronome and then with it just to get the the speed and the timing really really good because anything that you play up to speed has got to sound absolutely bang in time i know that sounds a bit obvious but sometimes you can develop sloppy habits by thinking you're in time but actually when you're playing with a drummer or a drum beat it's a little bit out record yourself playing this as well and you can analyze with with no prejudice exactly how it's sounding so yeah don't forget you can download the pdf of of that of the tab just to really make sure that you've got the left hand fingering fretting hand and the the pick strokes exactly right you can do that at onlinebasscourses.com and really really take this very very slow and then build up to playing along with that drum beat hope you enjoyed that quick bass line make sure you hit subscribe and like and if you've got any comments let me know otherwise i'll see you guys next time